everyone, Soundwave884 here. It's that time of year again. The time of year when we make videos and we, we reveal what we enjoy throughout the year and we reveal what we just like throughout the year. And with 2020 coming to a close, finally. I, don't worry though, 2021 is not going to be much better starting off. I think people who ended 2019 saying 2020 is going to be my year. It can't be any worse than 2019. You have doomed us all. 2020 sucks. But 2021 is going to start out sucky too because it's going to be a continuation of what we're in. At least for a little while. And screw all that stuff. Let's get to the point of this video. This video here, I'm going to reveal my top 5 most underwhelming or most disappointing purchases of 2020. That's not necessarily necessarily saying these things are bad. I'm just saying they didn't meet my expectations. Uh, and I'll mention why when I you know name off. It's only a top five here. I'm not going anything grand on the underwhelming, disappointing side. Now on the things I liked, I'm going to go for 20 of 20. Because it's 2020 and I want to do something good for 2020 because the year kind of sucks. Before I get into my list, I'm going to let you know if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button down below. That will help my channel out and help me grow. Also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And as many likes as I can get on this video will be much appreciated and can also help my channel grow. Alright, so let's get into my list of top 5 most underwhelming toy purchases of 2020 and pretty much all this will be transformers because they're the things i purchased the most so i do have an honorable mention so technically it's like a top six but the honorable mention is something it's like it's half and half and you'll see why when i mention it i will mention that before my number one reveal let's get to number five on my most underwhelming or disappointing figures of 2020 the earthrise seeker mold i'm gonna kind of put all these guys together because in the what was it 12 13 years since the original so of course this one wasn't that as long but from the original mold of the classics version this is what we've come to it's pretty much these guys just enlarged and they do do <laughs> do do yeah they yeah i'm immature they do they did make some changes some improvements in how they transform but going from my siege ones are up here from the articulation of these guys to the articulation of this guy is a big downgrade. It's disappointing to go from something so articulated to this. Now, these look really good. I love the look, especially the jet modes. Excellent. But to go from you know, things you can do on these guys to what you can't do on these guys. These guys have wrist swivels. They have waist swivels. I mean, come on. They have different, they have more like a butterfly joint in the shoulders. They can get in some awesome poses. I just kind of wish they could have incorporated that into this. I understand you say, well, because of the jet mode. I'm sure somewhere in the engineering department, they could have figured something out. But, you know, it's still an excellent figure. I'm not a toy designer. I, I did a good job, I guess, for the money's worth. But I just feel for the same cost, I like the articulation these guys bring you. But I like the overall look and feel these guys so as i said it's not a bad figure just underwhelms in certain ways and from what we went what we came from what we got now number four earthrise rc i love the actual look of the figure again i love the look of it now it's the quality that kind of gets you she is a true shell former uh, the whole backpack will open it up to become the car. She's really not necessary for the alt mode. If you just remove the pin from this back piece here, you can actually have the car on the side and still keep her fully in robot, robot, in robot mode. Uh, so that is probably the biggest disappointment of this figure. And again, also, the uh, I say the, the quality of trying to transform things. This piece here, this little post in this piece it came out of the package stress marked to crap it, it's like white right there uh it's just i don't like this and uh, this being a sled i mean hey they made it do something else i don't care for it so this piece it just comes off and sits in a shelf somewhere 
And I keep her like this because that is a good G1 look. Now I like the overall look of this figure more than the the Thrilling 30, or the old generations version. I like the look of this one better overall. I think the proportions are better on this besides the big huge heels on the back. But, you know, it's just the overall quality of the transformation is just pitiful. The alt mode getting it together is just, I kind of wish they tried a little bit more on it. But again, I'm not an engineer, but it's just a figure that underwhelmed and disappointed me slightly in 2020. Number three, Red Series. Soundwave. Much as I hate to put a Soundwave figure on this list, you know, I'm going to have to put this one on. Now, the Red Series overall is probably disappointing, you could say. They're not the what you probably would envision in your head. Uh, the plastic quality on all three are kind of cheap. They, to me, they feel like Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe Classified kind of stuff. Where if you want to move a joint that's really stiff, you feel like you might break the figure if you apply too much pressure. You're popping in and out of the hands. I mean, they are solid plastic. There's very little hollow parts at all in these guys. But uh, articulation uh, is underwhelming in that aspect as well. You don't get very much in the ankle tilt. And it's just with the quality of the plastic. It's, yeah. But Soundway takes it over Megatron off at least. Megatron has the most articulation. He's got an ab crunch. He is an excellent Red Series. Prime looks awesome. I just think Soundwave is the least well done of the three. Overall, all three disappoint. Soundwave just disappoints more because I can find redeeming factors out of Prime, especially Megatron. I can find redeeming factors out of this guy. He still looks good and still makes a good shelf piece on your shelf. Looks, looks fine. It's just I was hoping for more and it was kind of like, now I know they don't transform. I knew that going in. I'm fine with that. It's just overall the quality of the figure just, it underwhelms. Number two. Again, I hate to do this. Another sound wave. This one I call Medwave, med wave, or I'm calling Crap Wave. Uh, he is the satellite version. This is Transformers Studio Series. Let me get the number again. 62. Uh, for Revenge of the Fallen sound wave. He transforms into the satellite, which is a afterthought of an alt mode because he just kind of folds his legs behind his head and stuff. And he's got this weird paint job with like little specks and freckles on him. He's like he's got some kind of skin disease. Uh, he's got scraplets going on. Uh, the head, the little cone in the back. It's, it's just a very underwhelming figure. My copy also is uh, very wobbly and loose, but it's a sound wave. I have to have the sound wave. He did come with a little blue flight stand, which is kind of cool. It's probably the best piece that came with the figure. Uh, but otherwise, I like to say, I hate to put another sound wave on here because he's my favorite character. This figure here totally underwhelmed. Also, I can't really turn his head too well because it feels like it's just going to. So, it's just going to do that. Before I get to my number one pick, here's my honorable mention. And the reason it's an honorable mention. Because it's not really the full figure. Earthrise Optimus Prime trailer. Now mine has some upgrades from non-F on here. To uh, kind of spruce up the overall look of it. Now you can get labels from Toy Hacks. Which will make this is sort of a, it'll make it even more, more uh, toy accurate and stuff. But non-F added some stuff here on the sides to make it stand out. And little things to help balance it. And actually have it roll on even more quickly. So they can help fold up even more. Also, it gives you, gives you an actual um, door in the back, not enough does, to, to roll them out. And they give you, you know, tail lights and stuff for the back of the thing. So it makes it look a lot better. But the most disappointing part of this is this, the trailer feels like an afterthought. Uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime, fine figure. Excellent. I, I like it. Can't decide if I like that one or Siege more. The trailer, to add an extra 20 bucks to a Voyager class figure... This is what we got. I don't think this equals what we get out of a $20 Transformer. Um, yes, it's, it's bigger than that, but you can't fit anything in it hardly. Uh, most most vehicles will not fit in it. Um, all ones I do would be the mini bot. The only ones I do would be the mini bots are Earthrise Prowl. The Dotsons can uh, fit in there. But you got to make sure you have um, things taken out. And that uh, 
you have to actually remove the other piece as well in the back. So, and what's called at the moment to actually get him to fit in here. It won't fit in here right now because I actually have pieces from non in the back. There we go. Got him in. Yeah, he won't fit either. But yeah, the pieces from non F weren't in there. These little pieces here that mimic the G1 toy trailer. Uh, you could get these things to fit. That is the disappointing underwhelming part is that the play factor, the playability. You buy this as a toy, you think, hey, it's a trailer, I can store the cards in there. No, you can't. Now, unless you have like some mini bots, here's Beachcomber. He barely fits in. He's from Power of Bronze, so you can say, hey, it's a different series. But he can fit. So mini bots will fit. Deluxe vehicles. No. Now, number one on my list of most underwhelming and disappointing figures of 2020. Cyberverse Deluxe Grimlock. Now, now they had Grimlock and other things, but they came out recently with Deluxe Class figures for the Cyberverse toy line. Things like Bumblebee Adventures or something. And these came with a Build-A-Figure. And they're a little more articulated than the previous Cyberverse Warrior Class. Pretty much the same size figure. It is now they're Deluxe because they can you know, do more. They have ankle tilts and wrist swivels. Uh, you know, they could bend their knees. Some of them previously could not do that. They could turn their heads. Stuff like that. And the Grimlock, I had. Uh, I had a review. Would not stay together. The legs would pop off constantly. Could get them transformed because of that. It was a horrible, horrible QC mess. Now, the figure itself looked fine. But if you see my other video, which I made, which actually made me lose some subscribers... Uh, Grimlock is now in this bag because of uh, what well, I could find off of him. He's in here. Well, I can show him off. Hold on. Here's part of him. Um, I took an axe to him and chopped him up. Uh, I had to show him who was king. So, he's in this little baggie here. And I kept it for this video. <laughs> it's precisely this video to show this figure off because I knew he would make my list of worst figures of 2020 and i would actually say he is a bad figure uh looks fine but the overall quality in this figure i got is is pure crap and i i enjoyed every moment i had of taking an axe to it and chopping it to pieces the pure joy i felt deep inside just chopping this thing up it, it gave me pleasure um i'll tell you that it, it relaxed me, soothed me. I heard music in my head just playing. It was, it, it was, it was paradise. Okay. So that is my list. Top five. That's it. <laughs> okay. That is my list. Top five most underwhelming or disappointing Transformers or toys of 2020. And these are the ones I purchased this year. Uh, is that everything that came out? Yeah, I don't buy everything. Um, no one technically probably ever does. But out of what I got to share, these are the ones that underwhelmed, that disappointed. So uh, you can let me know your list down in the comments below. What are your worst toy purchases of 2020? Now, like I said, I'll be making a list. I will be checking it twice. I'm going. Okay, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to rank my top 20 of 2020. I, I've been waiting for a certain figure to arrive before I made the final list. I don't think I can wait any longer. The year is coming to a close. New Year's Eve is this Thursday. New Year's Day. It'll be a whole new year in just like five days from now I'm, uh, that I'm filming this video. I don't think I can wait for this figure. He's been in USPS limbo for days. Uh, he was supposed to be here almost two weeks ago. No, he ain't made it. Just ain't made it. Uh, I understand. Pandemic all year. Yeah, it has slowed some things down. Christmas, because most people are getting together and they're shipping their stuff off. Really slowed them down. Well, why am I still getting my bills? Slow that crap down. I, I got enough stuff to pay. Seriously. But I'm, I'm making my list. I might have to leave them out. I know I say it's figures I purchased, 
but I might make a figures I acquired after I filmed my video because he'll probably arrive before New Year's Eve but I'll have probably most likely filmed my video by then because I want to release it by New Year's Eve so he'll be you no know, hopefully he'll make next year's list if he doesn't get here in time but I'm looking at my figures and I'm trying to think who is going to make this list and I'm looking back here and I can see some right off the bat that are definitely going to make my top 20 of 20 and I can see some that are going to miss out on that as well. Now Transformers Earthrise has been short. It's been plagued with a plague uh, all year. And Kingdom's are already starting to roll in. Because you know, I'm up there. People find them in Walmarts in Canada. GameStop's getting them in. Other stores are getting Amazon's and shipping stuff out. I mean, hey. Earthrise, you had like less than a year to wow us. And some figures, good. Some figures, bad let's go ahead and click the notifications bell icon down below so you can be notified when i upload my top 20 of 2020 video i want to say thanks for watching this most underwhelming video till the next one peace out <laughs> gotta have fun gotta have fun